So then can we'll fit review of Avatar Book Three Fire Episode One. Water. Morning, YouTube! Now, sorry I'm getting this video in late, but it's been a. I was sleeping last night, so I didn't have enough time to make it. Uh, I saw the episode last night, I didn't need my DVR at all. Because I, I, stayed, I stayed tuned to watch it, like I usually do. <laughs> but, it's interesting. Pretty much it's like the some part of the commercial, but it's only one episode, so, yeah. And like I said, I'm not doing all ten episodes they're saying, review, I'm going to do this, and then when the season is over, hopefully I'll see the whole thing, I'll do my review on that. And I'll see if that's a recommendation if you buy it on the box set that will probably come out late 2008. And hopefully we get a preview of season four. No, uh, you can barely see my face because of this hat. But yeah, it's me. It's me, my new hat. Yeah, I'll just take this off. I'll just take this off. Okay, that's better. See, that's my new hat. <laughs> Alright, guys. Okay. Now, on to the review. This is interesting. Turns out that is Aang's hair, and I just remembered there was an episode that was kind of, nobody really didn't watch it, that every morning, it only did it once, but you can probably tell he did it all the time, every morning he shaved his head of all the little peach fuzz. Well, he was knocked out for three weeks, three weeks, so being shocked in the lightning and not dying... You sleep for three weeks. Well, after that, and after Katara saves him with the water from the spirit oasis, they go to uh, Turtle Cove, which is where her father is, and all the other water tribe um, army or whatever it are. And uh, they had to plan. They captured the ship and they knocked everybody out. I guess they threw him overboard, I guess, or killed him. Which I don't think they would do that. And don their ar and don their armor. Sokka is wearing Fire Nation armor, the white face and the helmet. While everybody else are wearing red capes. Mm. Well Aang wakes up thinking he's captured or something, or he's living in that having a nightmare. He knocks out every armor guy he fight, but it turns out the guys he does knock out are actually... I forgot their names. I know one's Pipsqueak from the Freedom Fighters, and a little short guy. A little short guy. I think his name is, uh... Something, uh... I forgot his name. That was a long, that's a long episode. The two guys that weren't with, um, Jet and Ba Sing Se. Now... Okay. Uh, now, also, did you like my picture I had? <laughs> anyway. Um, okay. Sorry if I say okay a lot. I'm just thinking in my head. I don't have a script. Now, what I think of the episode. I think it was pretty good. But it's, it's the same as the other Nar Naruto. <laughs> it's a different show. Avatar episodes I've seen. Only thing different is they the world thinks Aang is dead. Zuku Zuko comes back. And apparently that kiss thing I saw. Well, they kissed. It, it's not in the commercial because he has his long messy hair. But they kiss for the first time. I think May was just trying to comfort him, or something. And she I think her boring act is just an act for flirting. <laughs> and um. And, um, uh, now, uh, their plan is to go into the, go into the Fire Nation and take it over. And they say that the, that the, um, 
they don't even need the solar eclipse, they just need Aang, because the world thinks he's dead, so it could be like a sneak attack, and stuff. Well, ship comes by, Toph and Aang hide, Toph, Aang, and Saga hide, I think Katara too, while, uh, their father and, what's his name, his friend, talk, and there's, they're talking to the captain of the ship and stuff, and they make, they make, the captain of the ship makes this lie, like, you should have sent the bird out the, the no, you're patrolling here, and he's, we'll send two birds next time. Well, that was a, I guess that was a lie. Well, Toph was the, oh, Toph was hearing that. Then, in private, uh, he talks, the captain talks to his first mate, saying, when we get, when we get off the ship, we're gonna bomb it. Well, Toph has excellent hearing because she's blind. And so she just like storms out and goes, "They know!" And she just steps on, she steps on the on the hole and just crunches up the bridge in between the ships and they fall. Because now she's a, she can bend metal now because she found the way to bend metal. And I think that's awesomeness. And so now she's an earth bender and a metal bender, which is really cool. And so, yeah, the, then they're fighting and, and stuff, and yeah, they sink the ship, and I, th I think they... No, they don't sink the ship. The snake from Snake's Pass, or the little serpent seahorse-looking thing, comes up and strangles the ship. And, yeah, and breaks the other ship while they go off to the thing. Well, Aang's real pissed off that, um... He can't do a thing about it, even though he could probably took that ship out, but everybody thinks he's dead, so he has to, so he has to be hiding all the time, so that ticks him off. And then they, they're getting ready to go into town when they dock in the port, and then he goes, here, wear this headband to block your arrow, I'm like, if I can't wear my arrow, what's the point of going out there, or something like that. So, he just like, throws a fit, and... And all sorts of other stuff. And then he falls asleep. And Katara has this big fight with her father. Because her father left her four years ago. Right after their mom died. Which I think is bull. So. And, they, and then she cries and stuff. And yeah, and Aang gets up and leaves. Leaves. And he's trying to go to the Fire Nation. He's on his glider. And it starts to storm. And then he gets shot down kind of by the storm and uh yeah something like that and he's on a log and he's like parasailing with his glider well then he loses his glider and and the waves and he's like floating on a log and he says i failed him again well roku comes out all spiritual blue with no legs says i'm sorry ang this was my war you should not have been brought into it I should have stopped the war before it began. Da, 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 da. But I believe it's your duty to redeem me. Redeem you? What the hell? Jeez. Gosh. My people are dead. My people are dead without... Without deadness, deadness. <laughs> anyway. That's basically the episode. He war... He, uh... Then Suki, no, wrong, wrong chick. Then Princess Yue, which, if you watch not uh, Avatar, became the new Moon Spirit. When she says not to give up, and she's all glowing and stuff. Then she raises the waves using the moon's gravity, while Aang uses water bending, and they get to the island. He get to this volcanic island, which I think is probably brand new because it looks brand new, and stuff. And I'm running out of time. And uh, yeah. Now, uh, yeah, and then they find him, and they're, like, all huggy and stuff. Then the glider comes up on the shore. It's all wrecked, which sucks, because I like this glider. He goes, no, I'm not going to fix it. I'll, if people would see me, they would, it's, it's my image. And I would put it as a danger. So he just, like, goes up to the, the rock face. It's got lava pouring out of it, and, uh, he just, Whoo! stabs the ground, and it's, like, it's like he, it's like a grave or something. It, that's what I think it looks like. And then it starts to get on fire because it's in lava. 
and it just burns up, and that's it. And then the preview I saw, apparently he goes to school and stuff. Oh, and another thing. They also revealed Emperor Ozai, or Fire Lord Ozai's face. He doesn't look a thing like Zuko. He looks more like his, uh, Zuko looks more like his mother, and Azula looks more like his fa her father. But it's really cool, you get to see Ozai, and it's not just like a shadow, like this, like, Bleh! Well, I'm past the 10 minute mark, so I don't think this will upload, so I'll probably redo this, so, I liked it, uh, that's all we can, that's all I can do, so, I don't know what other video I'll get.